Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a 3D specialist too on our Browseware technical training and support team. Uh, before Browseware, I worked in the technical design department for menswear and before that at school in New York City. The tip I chose to share uh, with you all is how to create a functional fly zipper using a smart zipper. And I chose this tip because when I started at Browseware, uh, it was something that I learned how to do and discovered that it wasn't something that everyone knew how to do. So I want to share it with you all to help create that physical uh, fly zipper. So to create the functional fly zipper, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our layers are set up correctly and our 3D stitching is in place. So oftentimes we've, we stitch the fly closed here. Um, so we don't want any stitching closing that center front fly opening. And then our facings here, this one is going to be the one that's closest to the body. So it needs to be your lowest layer. And then stacking on top of that would be this layer. And then this is our fly facing, which sews in right here. And this is where the other side of our smart zipper is going to go. So this would be our next layer. And then topping it off would be our wearer's right pant. For the stitching, this fly facing is gonna be stitched to our center front. This facing is gonna be stitched into the center front on the wearer's right. And then it's also gonna be stitched into our J stitch as well. I also like to stitch down the top to the top of the pant, and then this facing is stitched to our waistband. Once everything is layered and stitched in correctly, we're going to open up the pant using a little bit of 3D styling just to pull it open. I like to use my gizmo to give myself a little bit more control and rotation. Once we have it open, we're going to go ahead and apply our smart zipper. So I've just downloaded one of our zippers from our library and I'm going to assign it manually. And I'm going to start on this side and we're, I'm going to assign the zipper into this seam. And then flipping my pattern over, I'm going to assign the zipper to our other fly facing. And then selecting done. You can see it's going to try and zip all the way closed. I want to leave it open so I can make sure that everything's on the correct layer and the correct size. So I'm going to select my zipper and just unzip it part way and then allow it to simulate. Now that the zipper's been assigned, I want to double check that my smart zippers are on the correct layer. In order to do that, we need to go into 3D styling and we can see our smart zippers here in our advanced section. To find them, we can select them, it'll highlight it, and then you can drag them to the correct layer if they are not visible because they're too low or if they're showing through the front of the pant because they're too high. With my zipper in place, um, I'm going to uh, select it and resize it to the correct zipper width spec. We can see here that our zipper pull is facing the wrong direction, but our zipper is zipping up correctly. So to fix the zipper pull so it's facing forward, we're going to select our zipper and our edge assignable trim. Coming into our 3D trim window, we need to adjust the way that our zipper is facing so it's flipped around to the back. In geometry, we can set the orientation of it and we're going to adjust it 180 degrees so this way the back of the zipper is now facing forward and it's going to update that zipper pull in 3d and if we allow it to simulate we can see our zipper pull is now facing forward once the zipper is assigned we are going to then zip the pant up Clearing any 3D styling you might have been using to keep it open. And buttoning it closed as well. 
at this point, we're going to use 3D styling as needed to adjust the closure of the pant. And once you're happy with the overall visual of your pant, you're going to save a closed snapshot. Once that closed snapshot is saved, you can go ahead and unbutton the pant and unzip it and continue to style it so it's open if you would like to have an interior view of your pant. Once you're happy with the way your interior view is looking, you can then save a snapshot of the open zipper. Once your snapshots are saved, you're done and you have a fully functional smart zipper on your pant. You can use this tip to help create a realistic physical zipper uh, and I hope that it's helpful in your bottoms creation.